area of this country are Maya lands? This is Mexico country. Can you tell me? The green one? Uh -huh. Very good. So we have states like Yucatan, Campeche, Quintana Roo, Chiapas, and Tabasco. What else? Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Like Chichen Itza, we have more than 3,000 Mayan cities. They were a huge civilization. Do you have an idea what is the modern language of these people? I mean, what the local people speak? Mayan, very good. Like the name of this civilization. The Maya language has 28 dialects. Like Quiche, Tojolabal, Otomi, Chontal, Chotzin are some of them. Please tell me, how can you say the name of this place? I want to hear you. How can you pronounce the name? Pronounce the name. Chichen. Listen, the name has accent. Chichen Itza. Okay. Chi in Maya language means mouth. This. Pay attention. I'm going to teach you a Maya word. If somebody speaks too much and he can stop, repeat this. Makachi. Makachi. Makachi means shut up. <laughs> chi is this. Okay. Now, Chen. Do you know or have you ever been in a cenote? Yes. Oh, you, you, ha you have one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, this place has two cenotes. There is a little one in the south section. The south section was the place where it used to be the high class. The name of that cenote is Ixtolok. The word Ixtolok means iguana. Maya used to drink water from that cenote. If you walk straight in that direction, behind of that square construction, you will find you will find this. The name is a sacred well. This one was for human sacrifices. Have you heard about that? Mm -hmm. According to this civilization, our universe is divided in three levels. Khan, Kap, and Shivalva. And they used to represent that universe with this tree. The name is Seva in Spanish, and the name in Maya language is Yaash Che. With X. Yaash Che. Yaash means green hole or Che in the tree or wood. Tree of the life for these people. Is this one. With the spikes. Is the cotton tree. Okay? At the Mayan Cosmovision, 13 branches are 13 levels of the heaven where they had 13 gods. The name of that place was Ka'an. Ka'an is, means heaven. Mm -hmm. The name of the trunk is Kap, and it's where we are now, the land. Nine roots, nine levels of the underworld. The name of that place was Shibalba. Mm -hmm. Now, Shibalba, it wasn't like a hell. They never had a concept about that. That was after, with the Spaniards. Mm -hmm. Chibalba was a dark place with water, and it's the place where the life emerged. According to these people, we came from Chibalba. For some archaeologists, Chibalba is very similar, like a womb, mm. because we have amniotic fluid inside, same like a water. Nine months of gestation, like a nine roots of that tree. That's why for Mayas, cenotes or caves were like a doors to Shibalba. So in this case, that huge cenote, it was like a, the main door of Shibalba for this ceremonial place. So this section is not all Chichen Itza. This section was the ceremonial center of the city. Religious place where Mayas made a trade with other cities, where Mayas made human sacrifices on top of those square constructions. Mm -hmm. The place is huge. Chichen Itza has like a 17 square miles around. The south section was the place where it used to be the high class. Okay? That's why the name, uh, the word Chen in the name of Chichen Itza. Chi means Mao, Chen, Cenote, 
and Itza, that was the last royal family that used to live here on Chichen Itza. So what is the meaning of the name? Mouth of the mouth. At the mouth so the of the well of the royal family, Itza. So they chose this peninsula of Yucatan thanks to those cenotes. We don't have rivers or lakes, only cenotes. Our peninsula of Yucatan used to be in the bottom of the ocean. So this peninsula was part of the floor of the ocean. Like a 65 million years ago, a meteorite impact in this area. With the impact, this peninsula emerged. So our stone is limestone. Limestone is like a, like a filter. That's why the rain and the water from the ocean goes down. So we have a, we have like a, on the rivers, okay? And the salt of the water seeps into the limestone, becoming fresh and drinkable water. When the limestone break, we have a cenote. Only this estate in Yucatan has more than 7,000 cenotes, okay? According to archeologists, they were like estates. For example, um, I am from a little town, the name is Piste, like a five minutes from here. Behind our houses, I mean in my yard, we have hills. They were temples, so we have more temples lost into the jungle. Mm -hmm. The good age of this place was from 950 after Jesus. Before of this, all the Mayan civilization, they were influenced by the Toltecs. I'm here the name, Toltecas. These people, uh, they, they came from the central part of Mexico from one state, the name is Tula Hidalgo. The Toltecs, they were like a warriors. When they came here, they brought a god which named in Nahuatl language. Pay attention. Nahuatl is different than Maya. The name of this god is Se Acatli Topitzil Quetzalcoatl. Easy. <laughs> This long name means the man, eagle, snake. Hmm? When they came here to the Maya lands, if you remember the language here is Maya, the name of Quetzalcoatl becomes the Kukulcan. Kukul means feather, Han is a snake, feather is snake. So we have the same person, but with different names. And we talk about this man as a mythological god. There is no grave, with his human remains. This is a carving of him. This carving is still inside of the Mayan ball field. We talk about this guy as a big person, a big person, big, wide skin, and with a long there. Okay? For some people, this man could be, maybe this man was Mr. Eric the Red from Norway, a Viking. In the Mormon religion, this man is Jesus. So we don't know who was that person. He was a wise man. He brought the knowledge to this area of math, astronomy, and he shared the knowledge with these people. They arrived here in the year 890 after Jesus. Around 926 after Jesus, the Mayans and Toltecs together, they just start to build that temple in honor of him. The reason was the high knowledge of Quetzalcoatl, and that knowledge is still in that construction. Then, around the year 1250 after Jesus, big Mayan cities from this peninsula of Yucatan were abandoned. Mayans left their cities. They returned to Central America, Belize and Guatemala. Why they moved? Why they abandoned their cities? Any idea? Mm -hmm. What else? They had troubles like overpopulations, wars, fights with their cities, droughts, diseases, troubles with the government. Mm -hmm. And finally, the Spaniards, the conqueror. Mm -hmm. The conqueror of this peninsula of Yucatan was Mr. Francisco de Montejo. Look, this is a painting of that temple. It is the year 1842, 300 years after the Spanish conquest. So Chichen Itza was abandoned. Jungle and time were in charge and destroyed each temple. In 
the year 1930, the Carnegie Institution for Washington, D.C., they sent archaeologists to explore this place and they restored the Temple of Kukulkan. Today, the temple only has like a 50 or 60 percent restored. It's not complete. This side is the west, the left is the north, which is the main door, behind is the east and south. The temple of Kukulkan has 55 meters of base with 30 high. Now the question is why today this place is very famous and also one of the New Zealand wonders. It's thanks to this temple, but why? What it has? On December 1988, Chichen Itza was named World Mayan Heritage. 2006, no more climbing. It's not allowed to climb the temple. Somebody fell. Somebody scratched their names. That's why today is not allowed. 2007, one of the new seven wonders. But why? Any idea? More people voted. Ah, uh, sorry? More people voted. <laughs> The temple has things like math, astronomy, architecture, acoustic, equinox, solstice, and the main reason is that this construction represents the Mayan calendar. Have you heard about this? Well, it's this. The temple has four faces, four sides. On each side, we have a search case with 91 steps. Today, in our Gregorian calendar, we use for each season 91.34, something like that. Well, if the temple has four phases with 91 steps, we have four seasons with equinox and solstice. And also, 91 per four, we have 364, plus the last level where we have the chamber that is considered the last step, making 365. What is that? Yeah. Okay, attention. The, this Mayan year is different than our calendar. The Mayan year has 19 months, not 12 like today. These people made a number system which base was 20. They took 20 from the cycle of the moon. And also they used to count in everything with fingers and toes. Can you see that decoration on the roof, the top? There is something like a hook. Like that one, there used to be five on each side, making 20, the base of the number system. Please tell me, how many levels you can see on each side? How many platforms you can see? Nine on the right side plus nine in the other, 18. Okay, they represent 18 months of those 19. Now, 18 months of 20 days, we have 360. Plus one extra month that they used to call in Maya language, Wajeb. Wajeb means bad luck. This maybe, uh, according to archeologists, this month was uh, were for human sacrifices. The, those five days. And they used to represent those five days with five keys from the top, making this. This big circle, has 19 hieroglyphics making 19 months. So this circle represents that construction. The name in Maya language is Hab, H-A-A-B. Hab means solar calendar. The little circle was a moon calendar. It has 260 days, 260. Where we can find today the same days? Pregnancy. With the moon and the solar, these people made this. We call this the Lone Mayan count. It has 5,200 years. Have you heard about this? Yes? No? The date zero of this civilization was 13th of August, 3,114 before Jesus. Every 52 years, Mayans made renovation. So they used to renew their buildings. They used to add new buildings over old buildings every 52 years. Tell me, when was the end of the last Mayan cycle? What happened in that year? People were talking about the end of the world. December 21st, 22nd, 2012. 
Now, Mayans, they never predict the end of the world. That was the end of the last Mayan cycle, okay? The name of this cycle was 13th Batum. Now, if you pay attention on each level, you can see something like a rectangles. Can you see like a deep panels, like a boxes, three per each of them? The ninth level only has two. Can you see? The last level only has two. Okay. 3 per 8, 24 plus 2, 26, and 26 on your side, 52. Okay. It's the cycle of this situation. Now, for us, weeks of the year. This is the most accurate calendar. The Mayan calendar has a mistake of a second. Our calendar has a mistake of hours. We call this leap year. This is inside of that construction. We have another temple inside. That little temple on top has another chamber like that one with two rooms where we have this still inside of the little one. Statues of limestone, Chagbul and Jaguar. Do you remember the tree of the life as we saw before? Can you tell me what represent this tree for that people? Maya universe, very good. You can read Maya universe. <laughs> and is divided in three. Very good. Can, cap, and shibal. Okay. The chakwal is holding a dish where Maya used to put human offerings, human hearts. That was the offering to the sun god, as the Egyptians they used to call Ra. So in this case, Mayan used to call Kilich Ahab. <clears throat> the other is a jaguar. It has 73 pieces of jade, making these parts of this animal. There in the back used to be another dish of jade where Mayan used to burn a sap of a tree. The name is Copal. They use that as an incense to clean the human offering. Well, they were connections. The Chagma was the connection or the messenger from the land to the heaven. And the Jaguar, as a nocturnal animal, he was considered the other connection to the underworld. So they need to worship 13 gods up and 9 down, and they were connections to those levels. About the acoustic is this. Have you ever seen this? No. The name is Quetzal belongs to Chiapas and Guatemala. For Mayas, was a holy bird. The reason was a long tail with beautiful feathers and colors. When this Quetzal is flying, the tail looks like the shape of a feather snake. That's why Mayans relate Quetzal with their god, Quetzalcoatl, the god who came with other people, the talk with the Toltecs, okay? This acoustic is still there. I will show you in a couple of minutes. Now, this temple has a perfectly square base. The corners are not aligned to the cardinal points, north, south, east. The base is up a little bit. The base has 17 degrees to the magnetic north, not the true north. They try to reach those 23.5 degrees that we have on the axis of the planet. Uh, so, Today, thanks to that inclination, we have four seasons, and they knew that. So these people, they were great astronomers. Into the peninsula of Yucatan map, uh, geographically, we're in the middle of this state, and we are under of the line Tropic of Cancer. That's why this, our weather always is hot. We don't have four seasons, my friends. Our weather is hot, super hot, and rain. That's it, okay? Well. These astronomical things and that construction on top make the equinox. Please pay attention to the chamber. As you can see, the whole chamber is not symmetric with the stairs. Can you see? Mm -hmm. It's like off. Not the shape. It's not. I mean, it's not the center. Can you see? It's off to the south. Can you see? Mm -hmm. 
So this side is longer than the other. It's more to the right. Mm -hmm. What happened is, um, every 21st of March, 21st of September, 4 o'clock for 15 p.m., when the sun is going to the sunset, thanks to the offset of the chamber, the sunlight will create shadows of those corners, one by one, from the top to the bottom, making this. This is amazing. Pay attention to this side. Can you see like a waves? Well, this is the body of the snake. We have little triangles of shadows. Can you see? Well, in the north side, the base, you will see a huge snake head, making the body of Quetzalcoatl or Kukulcan. Mm -hmm. It happened twice in a year, March and September. For farmers, the snake represents fertility, life. When the farmers saw the first equinox march, they knew it's time to plant it. This is the field, March. They clean it around the field and then they burn the field. The ash works as fertilizer. April, they started to plant in the maize. May is the beginning of the rain season. And three months after May with the other equinox, September, that was the harvest. That equinox was another kiln bird, was a farm kiln bird. Now, thanks to all those things like math, astronomy, architecture, acoustic, Equinox, Solstice, Kellner. That's why, my friends, today Chichen Itza is very famous and also one of the new seven wonders. With other sites like Rome, Taj Mahal, Great Wall, Pedras Temples, Machu Picchu, and Brazil. Now, you really know why today this place is very famous and also one of the new seven wonders. It's thanks to that temple. This is more than a construction, it's more than a temple, it's unique. Believe me, in a few words, without this temple, we are lost. This place is the bank of our government. In a high season, we have more than 11,000 people per day. So this is very famous, okay? Okay, let's move in front. Let me show you that. I Which is this place? Where is this place? Place. Yeah. In the year eight, uh, 1930, this is how our guild is found this place. Remember, Chichen Itza was abandoned. So it's just like jungle. Yes, yes. On this other picture, you can see more limestone as we saw in the entrance. During the Spanish conquest, Spaniards they reused these towns to build cathedrals, haciendas, colonial cities. <clears throat> we call this place. The Mayan ball field, I think it's a wrong name because they never used that as a sport. That was more than a sport, that was a ceremony and was for agriculture. The name of that ceremony was Pogta Pog. Pogta Pog. It doesn't have a meaning. That was only the sound when the rubber ball rebounds. No sound. It produces a sound. Pogta Pog. Pogta Pog. This is the biggest in all Mesoamerica. Only this state, Yucatan, has more than 1,000 fields, but this one is the number one. Mm -hmm. uh, this re that, um, that ceremony was for agriculture, and the royal family, it says, they used to share this with other cities. So people from Ekbalan, Mayapan, Mirna, Ekbalan, they used to come here for agriculture. On top used to be the royal family, there used to be the guest, maybe people like an upper class from other cities. At the end of this, this field, the North Temple, there used to be the priest, the man in charge of the city. In that field, there used to be two groups or teams with seven players, or warriors maybe. Uh, one team in the right side, another in the left. One of the team, like the leader, he used to be on that platform under the ring waiting for a rubber ball and he needed to pass the ball through the hole. They used to, one hole right yes, no, we had to run into this hole. And they used to hit the ball with shoulders, elbows, hips, and knees. They can't touch the ball with hands, feet, or head. That was very difficult. And the problem was that they were short people. 
<laughs> like a 150 or 160. Now we have a carving that we show you where you will see players holding something like a bat, brackets, and they have body protection. So they use something like a cruise. Okay? Now we don't know how often Mayas made that ceremony. Spaniards, they destroyed everything. We don't know the rules, how often Mayas made this. Mr. Roman, Roman Piñachan, he was a Mexican archaeologist, and according to him, at the, uh, at the Mayan time, the, the ground used to be with limestone and stucco. And during that ceremony, he said the floor is the heaven. The floor represents the heaven. Each ring has carvings where you will see intertwined snakes. The Maya used to call those snakes connection of the life. What is for you that word, connection of the life? What can you understand about that? Spiritual, no. Somebody else? Sorry, lady, do you have, do you have babies, sons? You? How many? One? Well, uh, she had one connection. How do you get that? <laughs> very good, very good. Yes, during the pregnancy between mom and the baby, there is a connection. It is umbilical cord. It has the same shape. Now, curiously, today we can see that same shape in the DNA, double helix. If we go to the hospital, you will see the symbol of the health or the medicine. According to this man, rings represent the place where we live because it talks about the life. That thing that uses a bowl, it wasn't a bowl. That circular shape was the representation of the sun. And if you remember, the sun was a god for them. Well, in conclusion, the floor is the heaven that people used to be there as constellations. Mm -hmm. The ring is our place and the bowl is the sun. Okay, if we record a video of a sunrise and a sunset and we speed up the video, we're gonna see this. So these people, they try to imitate the movement of the sun making duality between sunrise, sunset, life or death. If the ball cross the ring, no matter which ring, they used to believe that the sun god is making fertility. It's time to plant it. Now today we know that thanks to the sunlight, we have photosynthesis, make sense? With one point, the ceremony over, and then they had a ritual where some of the leaders will be sacrificed. Some of them lost the head. Now here comes the big question, who of them? Because we don't know if was the loser or the winner. What do you think? Winner. Why the winner? This is the best. I am agree with you, mm -hmm. and we ha I ha uh, we have a I have a reason. Uh, there is a original Mayan book. The name is Popol Vuh. This book was like a Bible for this civilization, and according to this book, the first man he was created from the corn, from the maize. People came from the maize. That's why they had respect to the land. Mr. Roman he said maybe Mayas made it that ceremony four times in a year, seasons. So when Mayas made the planting, after the planting. With that ceremony, they ask it to their gods, good land, fertility, and a good rain season, right? Well, my question was, what thing they need to give to their gods as exchange? The best. The that was my answer, the yeah. best. So if you ask for good things, you need to give the best of you. In this case, it was an honor. The dead is not the end of the life for these people. The dead was the beginning of a new life. And also, they had a different idea between death and the human sacrifice. Tell me, which is our place? Where we are now, these three? Top, top? The middle? Top, trunk, top. okay. According to them, when somebody dies, his soul has to go down first. He has a mandatory process. Reborn into. He needs to cross nine chambers of that place. Chambers of fire, jaguars, darkness, blood, to reach the heaven. He can return to this place through the trunk, but not as a person. Could be a tree, plant, animal, or an insect. This idea is reincarnation. It happened in case of a death. 
now what is happening facing a human sacrifice. I feel like they would just get you sent gonna, straight to Yeah, you're gonna skip that, that ship valve and you will go straight. Straight to heaven, yeah. To the heaven, yeah, yeah. Your name? Mark. Okay, for example, Mr. Mark is from Ekbalam. Do you know where is Ekbalam? Ekbalan was another Mayan city more to the east, mm -hmm. and this uh, Mark is from, from there, and he's the best player of that city. He came here and he won. All the good things that he won, harvest, food, rain season, wanna be for his town. So he will be like a hero or a god for that city. So his blood is like a new life. It's like a fertility to our land. That's why, according to some archaeologists, people from other cities came here with intention to win, to get the honor of the human sacrifice. So it was like a, like a privilege mm -hmm. for them, okay? Mark, Mark, are you ready to play today? Or? <laughs> okay, let's see the this, this player, attention, in the right hand is holding a knife, a dagger. In the other hand is holding a hat. Eyes, mouth, neck, and his blood. You got it? position the pillars over there are showing like kneeling down. one knee yeah so this is a reverence so he's giving the life by himself it means honor his blood spreads and we have one two three four five six seven lines of blood why seven the, the team seven players only one lost the hand and the blood becomes by a snakes why the snake is the god and also if you remember the equinox this shadow for farmers is fertility and the topic here is agriculture right this is the is going and becomes by plants where you can see flowers and fruits growing his blood is making new life this is the bowl inside we have a skull that is skull is this god her name is Apuch. She's the dead god and she lives into the underworld, but is facing this person and she has a long tongue. We call this tongue virgula or voluta. It means text, words like speaking. She's asking the body of this person as a human offering to the underworld. And then the other team. The traveler Eric Thompson, he said, we still hear voices of a ball players in the ball field of Chichen Itza. Let's pay attention to that wall. I'm going to do a noise again with my tongue. If it's possible, try to count how many times you're going to hear the sound oh, yeah. of this. Here in the middle, there's a sign of the Schädel. There are seven players on the left and the right. Let's move. How many times? Seven. Seven times. 